Hey everyone, today is June 8th, 2018. I was mistaken when I said it was my two-year anniversary on the 2nd of June. The two-year anniversary was actually for when I made my channel trailer, but I actually made my first video on June 8th, 2016. Hi, this is Rick Beato. Welcome to Everything Music. Now, a lot of people that follow my channel, they only watch the videos from when they start following on. But I've made 490 videos and many that I think you'll be interested in. So here's a little sampling of some of the topics that are actually in my channel. Check it out. What is a mode? Think a little bit more about music and the brain. That note's an A flat. Actually, Daddy, that's not an A flat. That's an A. Oh. You have to remember when I started my channel, I was still a full time producer. So. I would shoot things on the way down to the grocery store to get dog food, trying to make use of the little time that I had. The rest of the videos I ended up making late at night, which is why there's some really hilarious bad editing that I did, plus the fact that I didn't really know how to use Final Cut Pro. The guitar style of Pat Metheny. Piano voicings for guitar. How to use polyrhythms to create melodic ideas. Portal and quintal multiplying melodic motifs. Orchestration for prose. Primer on slash chords. Chord solos of Wes Montgomery. What Bach and Charlie Parker had in common. Immunity to dissonance. Fred Triad in a couple of the ep- Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, these are not peak lights. FR is French. And then of course we have the whiteboard lectures. I've done hundreds of these. Live streams as part of videos. It was kind of my thing. It made it feel like it was a classroom. And that was kind of the idea. Do these longer videos and actually treat it like it's a class with people watching it. You know, those of you that are into my series, What Makes This Song Great, you should go back and look at my videos on music production, because I have a lot of them. How to record acoustic guitar, how to record heavy guitars, profiling music producers and mixers, Andy Wallace, Brendan O'Brien, Chad Blake. Program 15 is an old school way of chorusing anything. You can chorus the bass, you can chorus the vocals. You have more length to the drums that you get any woofiness and any air blast that comes out of the hole. Backed off the pre a little bit. Film scoring is another feature of this channel. I have done so many film scoring videos. Analysis of all different types of film cues by all different types of composers. John Williams, James Newton Howard, Thomas Newman, Howard Shore, Hans Zimmer, you name it. Here are some clips from some of my videos. come in with the E flat to oppose it to create that flat nine interval. Many of you may not know I actually have an interview series here on my channel as well and it's called Sounding Off. Here are the guests that I've had on. Welcome, welcome. Are we rocking this now? Yeah, we're rocking it now. Hey everybody, I'd like to introduce a good friend of mine, Mr. Steve Vai. We have Sinister Gates. Our guest today is John Petrucci, Victor Wooten. We're so professional. We're pros here. Nice to see you, Greg. Warren, how you doing? I'm marvelous, how are you? Steve Hunt. Rick, how you doing? Welcome, Chris. Thank you. 
famed film composer Mark Isham. Thank you so much for having me, man. Playing the band, and he was like, what? Exploration and my passion. Almost no tonal. It's Adam Neely hanging out with Amy. Thanks for having me, Rick. Multi-instrumentalist Gary Husband, Mr. Jeff Berlin. And old people used to put the passing notes. Composition has been a big feature of this channel. Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato. And I'm Nari Soul. Aeolian and Phrygian, but we didn't talk about Locrian or Tonic Diminished. With the notes spread. Over C sus4 over A. The section would be an hour long with just five second clips of all the music theory and composition videos I've done. Check out the playlist called Music Theory and Composition. They are really some of my best videos. We're starting a new series called What Makes This Song Great? Taking tunes from all different eras and genres. Episode 14. The band is Rush. The band is the Foo Fighters. The artist today is Soundgarden. The band we'll be featuring today is System of a Down. Tool. Rage Against the Machine. Toto. And the song is All the Small Things by Blink-182. Pearl Jam. Linkin Park. Tom Petty. Perfect Circle. Metallica. Boston. Alice in Chains. Train. And Red Hot Chili Peppers. Hold Play. Peter Gabriel. David Bowie. Nine Inch Nails, Alanis Morissette, Radiohead. Let's get started. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you will know the name Aiden Essen. Aiden is one of my oldest friends and he's the greatest improviser I've ever known. He's a very important part of this channel and here's a few clips from some of his improvisations. <laughs> Another big part of my channel has been my son Dylan's videos. He had a series of videos that started on Facebook before I started this channel and really was the impetus to start this channel where we did six videos and on Facebook they had 65 million views so over 10 million views per video. Here's a few clips from that. Okay I'm gonna do some polychords for you. These are really gonna be hard. You ready? What's this? Okay sing a B chord. Sing the notes. B flat, A flat, F, G, B flat, E flat, A flat. Correct. 
knowledge. What is this? I've made you already, Lydian. That's correct. Okay. Another kind of video that I like to do are my commentary videos. These are the ones that I get all the hate mail for. My Apple video, why adults can't develop perfect pitch. Then they go take out the headphone jack on the iPhone 7 and they give you one of these. Get rid of those sideburns, Elvis died in 77. <laughs> Units are the sounds that make up syllables. The 60s bands, Jimi Hendrix, you name it. All those bands were. So you're hearing, hold on, hold on, Dylan, you're hearing two voices? Um, I'm hearing two voices. One of my favorite parts of my channel, once again, that have videos that really don't get watched anymore, are my personal stories. These are the things that shaped my life, not just musically, but who I am as a person. Story was a huge, huge learning experience in my life and the humiliation that I felt at the time. But I'm gonna keep searching for that feeling. Finding new music to be inspired by, listening to it, letting yourself be influenced by it or not. My mom would always say, Rick, you can do anything. Even when I came with my D minus average, I came back with my report cards. Her thing was, they don't know how to teach you. <laughs> and she was right. I tried to explain that to my teachers, but they, they didn't buy it. But uh, there was a lot of wisdom in that. She never sweated those things, neither did my dad. And eventually, they knew I would land on my feet because they gave me the confidence to believe in myself. And that's the greatest thing that you can do for yourself, is to believe you can do anything and have no regrets. Thanks for watching.